Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. at the New Albanian Brewing Company. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but anyway, I'm here with Jay, Ryan. We got the band back together again. Three pizza connoisseurs. Jay's from up east. He knows his pizza. And Ryan? You know I know pizza. I got the bill. And of course, you all know about me. I love that pizza too. But anyway, uh, when I came out with the top five pizza video here a month ago, everybody was screaming bloody murder that I didn't include the New Albanian in my top five. I was gonna come here all along, but they only have lunch on Friday and Saturday, so it's kind of tough for me to get over here. I always do my reviews during lunch. So anyway, we're here. Uh, you never know if it's as good as everybody says, I might have to come back and do a top 10 and include some other places in my next top video. But anyway, before we get going here, I wanna uh, give a shout out to my sponsors. I really appreciate the fact that you all have chosen me and sponsor me help me offset some of my costs. I know some of y'all get annoyed with my commercials for my sponsors, but you know, they're, they're helping me and they're helping me help places like this. They're helping to offset my food costs to where I can do a bigger production and show more variety. So I really want to give a shout out to them and I really appreciate the people that have called up Wholesale Mortgage Source and LM Roofing Go ahead and give them a shout if you already haven't done so. Okay, all right, enough of the chit chat. We're gonna go in and check this place out. All right, I've got Larry Miller with LM Roofing. Uh, first of all, we're extremely excited about our partnership here with Goodall. Uh, we look forward to what he does in the future and what we do. So we are a third generation family owned roofing business based out of Bullock County, Kentucky. We service the entire Kentucky area so if there's anything, no matter how big or small, we can get you took care of. And like he said, size really doesn't matter. So make sure you mention this ad and you get a 10% discount. And don't forget to tell them that Goodall's Country Kitchen sent you. All right, I have a whole lot to cover in this video today. This place is so big to show you this whole place is gonna take me a minute or two, but look at the, uh, the cut up uh, dining rooms you see there. You can come back here and read a book if you wanted to. There's a back service bar. And actually you can sit at a bar back here too. They have their homemade brews on tap. You see there. Oh yeah, they got a lot of different beers to choose from here a lot of those ipas and all that stuff really kind of cool quirky place here all right now this is just one half let me take you on back here see jay and ryan studying their menu there look here they got merch you can buy here which i might end up getting me a t-shirt you know i like those t-shirts and back here, they have this, uh, they don't have the lights on in here, but I assume during the evening, they open this up. They have all these old school games in here and pinball machines. Sorry, it's so dark. That's a pretty cool sign there. And now I'm going to take you to a whole different side of this place. Okay, that side I just showed you before was actually the bar side, but you can sit in there and eat also. This is the restaurant side, which I know there's a lot of people in here. I'm gonna try not to show too many folks in here, but I gotta show you their brewery. It wouldn't be right if I didn't get to show you that. But you can see here, they brew all their own homemade brews in here, which I don't really know much about that, but it looks like a big time operation they got here. Got the TVs in here if you want to watch the games. And 
There are right there their homemade brews that they make here. And I have to take it that they get really busy here. Because if you see there, they got these old school church pews lined all up and down the sidewalk here. So I bet you in the evening, they're on a wait. So as a word of advice, you might want to come here in the off hours like we just did. We got here at uh, like 11.15 and there's already a ton of people here. So might want to time your visit out. Either come early or come late, whichever. Yeah, this atmosphere here is pretty cool. I like all these old signs and things they have up here. All the memorabilia. You know, it's just not coming into some little single room joint with no atmosphere. This, this place definitely has character. All right, I'm just warning everybody now, disclaimer, we have ordered an absolute feast here and this is just the beginning. Uh, what'd you get here, Ryan? Ryan ordered this appetizer. What is that? It's the spinach case. It's uh, beer cheese, spinach. It looks really good. Good looking okay. chips there. And I ordered the order, large order of breadsticks with beer cheese. So we're gonna get into that. And I have a whole lot coming. It, it's, it's gonna be pure carnage, just warning you. All right, Jay's gonna go first on this uh, bread sticks and beer cheese. Oh, look at him being all hot. proper, tearing off little bitty bites. It's pretty hot, it's fluffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Some salt on there, some nice seasoning. This is, a, this is what you go for though. Mm. It's got a little bit of spice. That's really good. Yeah, I'm not used to beer cheese. Uh, usually beer cheese is a lot more thick. thick. Yeah. So I like it that way, where you can get some good dips with it. Yeah. Get every bite surrounded with some beer cheese on it. All right, Ryan, go ahead. Sample your uh, case. Break the chip. Go in hard. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think? He's right, it's got a nice little spice to it. Not hot, but nice little spice steak flavor to it. Spinach and tomato. And by the way, before y'all start accusing me of doing a merry here, we're, we're sharing these appetizers, so don't <laughs> accuse me of stealing Ryan's food. I'm right. checking this out. That's enough to share for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna try my breadsticks here in just a second. All right, here I go. Mm. I like how these breadsticks got a little crunchiness on the outside, soft on the inside. Yeah. That's really good. Yep, nice and light. A lot of flavor though, seasoned well. I know y'all thought I was about ready to double dip. But I ain't gonna do that. I wasn't raised proper, but I gotta do I have a little etiquette. Mm. That beer cheese is top notch. Get another thing in this case. Cause that bite I had the last clip, it's got a little bite to it. Mmm. Excellent. Definitely recommend these appetizers, but the server, she also said that these were top favorites, too. All right, we'll be back when the entrees start getting here, and we got a lot of them. Be right back. Jay got it. We got a second round of appetizers, by the way. I told you I was going to get ugly. Jay got the pretzel bites and beer cheese. He said he overlooked that on the first glance at the menu, <laughs> so he had to go back in. Got to, Got to give it a try. Beer cheese, it's good. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, this all lets you know that we love this beer cheese. Plus, I got more mm. coming. I'm gonna dip my pizza crust in. It's so That's good. really good with the pretzel too. I mean, you know it's gonna be, but. There you go. Yep. Dive in. There mm -hmm. you go. Mm-hmm. 
All right, now there I'm gonna go. show you my appetizer, another appetizer, be right back. All right, I got the sausage sandwich, which is their homemade in-house Italian sausage. And it just basically comes with cheese and tomato sauce. But you see there, it's their uh, Italian sausage cut long ways, sliced. And I don't know what kind of bread this is. What, Jay, what's this look like to you? What kind of bread? No, it looks like it's grilled though. Yeah, it's almost like maybe some kind of sourdough. I don't, I don't know. Here we go. Mm. And the, the bread is grilled with butter. The sausage has a nice spice to it, really zesty. And I like the sauce too, because it's not overly sweet. I can't stand it when people put too much sugar in the sauce. And it comes with plenty of cheese. I'm assuming, I think that's mozzarella, by the way, by the way it pulls. Very tasty. Mm. Now that I've had it natural, I'm gonna accentuate it with a little of that sriracha Tabasco. And work on this, be right back. So, second round of appetizers for everybody. Ryan went with the chili. Yeah, got it fully loaded, onions, jalapenos, cheese. Like some spaghetti oh, yeah. noodles. Look at that cheese, man. Yeah, this it looks like a almost like a baked spaghetti the way that it, Is there noodles in it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I was telling uh, Ryan when he was ordering that, I said, you know that chili's gotta be good if they serve chili at a pizza place. I mean, what would be the point unless that chili wasn't just absolutely drop dead fantastic? I think they use that bloomers. What are you talking about? You taste blamers in it? Mm hmm That's what I use uh, in my chili good, uh, for the base. Good consistency. So good blamers, by the way, is another local company based in Louisville, too. Family owned. I mean, that's that's really good. I, I like the, the jalapenos are definitely spicy. Definitely got a kick. And the, um, the meat's got a good flavor. The onions got the good onion flavor, not going to say, but... And, uh, cheese everything all right dig in oh yeah yeah you got a man-sized bite that time and y'all notice he's proper he pronounces the jalapeno which i have people get on me all the time because i say i call it jalapeno so i was just raised that way that's the way my parents pronounce it that's the way i pronounce it so how are those jalapenos they're delicious they're delicious you're gonna like it when you eat it on your pizza Oh yeah, I got jalapenos on all my pizza too. Be right back. He's got that technique like I'm a trying. pro. I'm not as good as that kid was at uh, Bellissimo. That's what I'm talking about, man. No inhibition whatsoever. Mm. All right, so here's the first of my entrees. What was this called, the Roundhouse? Roundhouse is fully loaded. Yeah, Big Ten style. Big Ten. Dang on. All right. Oh, that cheese pool. I'm trying to get the crust apart here first. All right. Roll that beautiful cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Whole milk, 100% mozzarella. You can always tell by the cheese pool. All right, so the roundhouse actually has the crusty edges there, you can see. And I got the, like I said, Big Ten style comes loaded with the bacon, the sausage, the ham, and that sausage is homemade, as I said before. And they're not stingy on the cheese. Mmm. Mmm.
That is so good. I can already tell you now on the first bite, if I had been here before, somebody on my top five video would have lost out because this would have been on there. Our, I can already tell that we're just now starting. All right, I'm gonna finish this slice and then we're gonna start with something else. Okay, so I didn't really describe it well enough the last time. I want you to see that crust. It's crispy on the outside. And as I said, on that round edge there, crispy. I think they put cheese on the outside too, but it's airy and soft on the inside. I love crust like that. And the sauce, very zesty, not overly sweet. I like everything about this pizza. And I got another one coming here. I'm gonna show you in just a second. All right, so Jay, what'd you get there? This is, um, this is the, the regular pizza. I forgot what it's called. Uh, but I got half cheese and I got half uh, veggie. And it's got some tomatoes. Uh, it's got green olives, black olives, mushrooms, and uh, spinach. Um, I think that's it. And by the way, that, that's their regular hand-tossed crust. That's like the regular crust there. Yep. So it's it's a little floppy, but it's got tons of stuff, and that's why. And there's um, you can nice undercarriage. The, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Look at Jay trying to be all healthy with the vegetarian. Mm-hmm. That's got a lot of toppings. Everything's fresh. You can tell everything is um, nice and fresh vegetables. Yeah. Heck, you Lots got, of cheese on here too. If a pizza joint doesn't sell, if they don't cut their own vegetables fresh, it tends to be mushy. A lot of people try to play it cheap and get frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. That's not happening here. Okay. This is all good. All right, we'll be right back and we're gonna show you Ryan's next item. So, Ryan, what'd you get? I got the veggie calzone, followed in Jay's suit. Figure well, I eat enough meat. I need to try something that's a little bit uh, vegetarian. Everybody going healthy on me. Y'all gonna do like John, end up like losing 100 pounds. <laughs> With a lot of ricotta cheese, mushroom spinach. Yeah, they're not stingy on that cheese, that's for sure. Now, did you get some pesto with it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. What do you dip it into the pesto? Yeah, and a lot of times a lot of times people use marinara sauce. I wanted to try their pesto because they saw it on the menu. Yeah. Go ahead and get that dip action going. That's what I'm talking about. That was really good. Like you said, they don't skimp on the cheese. Plenty of good vegetables in there. Mm-hmm. Definitely a, a very good thing. Uh, you know, some meat would probably be really good on it, but I, like I, said, mm -hmm. I just wanted to try some vegetarian. So All right, cool. Be right back. I'm going to show you my next item. Okay, so here's my next pizza. It's called the Upside Down, which I got the same style with uh, the Big Ten, with, you know, basically it's their Supreme. And, but this one is also has the outer crust. It's deep dish, but this one comes like more roman style it's our detroit style it comes in a rectangle so as you see sauce on top kind of like chicago style does that this crust look at that zero flop and i got all those toppings plus the jalapeno you see in there i'm gonna go ahead and just i ain't play Definitely. Mm. 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 That crust. Unbelievable. Mm. And that was a. That was a uh, middle cut. And it wasn't floppy. This is the corner, so you know that one's got more edge. It's not gonna be floppy at all. 
Mm. So good. The sauce has a nice tanginess to it, but not overly sweet. All right, I'm gonna work on this. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I said before I was gonna dip my crust in the beer cheese. It's so good. I'm actually gonna dip the whole thing. And you see I've already got my accents on here with the hot sauce, the crushed pepper, and cheese. Now with the beer cheese. Heck with it. Mmm. Mmm. All right. I don't even think I need words to describe just how good that was. You saw for yourself, the beer cheese is phenomenal. Pizza's phenomenal. One plus one equals awesome. That's why they lost their mind in Detroit Rock City. Mm-hmm. In the words of Paul Stanley. Mm. All right. For dessert, I might even try one of their homemade brews. You know, I'm not much into, you know, the family channel, kids show. But we're in a brewery, so just like when Ryan and I went to the bourbon, Barstown Bourbon Company, even though I'm not much of a bourbon drinker, if you're at a bourbon, you know, distillery, you gotta try the bourbon. So here, we're at a brewery, we gotta try the beer. Be right back. Hey, here we go, dessert time. What you got here, Ryan? You got me, good intentions. Cause everything's got good, good intentions. This is a German style beer. As a strand of the waitress, and she recommended it. Said it's not too hoppy, but it's got a good flavor to it. And you know, like I said, kids show. We don't usually do alcohol, but when in Rome, you gotta do as the Romans do. I know that's so, a that is a good beer. Like I said, not hoppy. It's almost like a grapefruit flavor to it in there. But I would drink, I would drink it. I, not a big beer drinker after eating a meal like that, but like I said, when in Rome, let's, uh, let's have a little fun. All right, be right back and show you what I got. I'm going to throw a little twist in here. Okay, so this is beer, but it's root beer, non alcoholic. So this is a kid friendly place. They actually make their own root beer, they use ginger root and honey. Now, how fancy is that? Look at that, and it's ice cold. Comes right out of the root beer keg. You notice I got the little pinky up, fancy. Oh, wow. This is really good. I would definitely order this again. Definitely kids are gonna love this. Probably the best root beer I've ever had, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in a minute. Might get dessert. I don't know, but we'll be right back. All right. Um, I got a couple of samples. I'm going to go home with a growler, um, and I wanted to try each of these. These are, um, I believe, these are seasonal. At least this one is the Shamrock Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin stout. Mm. You know, we're in pumpkin country here in southern Indiana, so. and it's a, and it's the pumpkin time of year. Um, it's good. It's very good. I, I like a stout. I can't drink too much of a stout, so I might hesitate on the growler, but delicious flavor. Um, this is a Pilsner. It's dry hopped. I don't think it's too hoppy. Man, he knows his beer. It is hoppier than I thought. Delicious. Nice and light. I'm going to go home with this one. Excellent, though. Both of them. All right, we'll be right back in a minute. All right, so everything was great, as you saw. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get real wordy with it. The, the pictures, the video says it all right there for me. Oh, by the way, one little thing I will add. The pizza crust, when I was talking about that sausage sandwich, they actually make the bread for their sandwiches out of the pizza dough. They just add a little yeast to make it more airy. So that pizza, that, that sausage sandwich bread was incredible. Um, what about y'all? What do you think? Go well, start with you, Ryan. I just wonder when we're gonna eat again, because I'm already hungry. No, I'm just kidding, I'm stuffed. <laughs> it was delicious, everything was perfect. Uh, no complaints. 
hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't done so and uh show your support what about you uh i'm gonna say my the highlight for me was that beer cheese excellent it's yeah. thinner than usual excellent flavor though and the breadsticks in it that was probably my favorite bite everything was just flavorful as it could be just the right perfect amount of spices and everything and uh, we're definitely coming back i had to sit here on this church pew because i'm as full as a tick can't hardly breathe so i had to take a little 10 minute uh rest here just to be able to get to the car all right so with that we're out of here and y'all don't know nothing about this new albanian brewery company oh i forgot to shout out to tiffany best waitress oh in the building. that's right tiffany asked for her great great experience she gave us and now y'all don't know nothing about this new albanian brewery is it brewery all right now you know the facts of why i'm on a mission you're always welcome back to goodall's country kitchen